Throughout history, there have been visible signs which have marginalised certain people from society. For example, no Jews, no Irish, no blacks. The list goes on. A simple line painted on the street floor had the power to keep people confined to their own territories and even make people feel fear of persecution or fear of death in some areas. Therefore, we aim to examine whether these lines still exist today. We are going to be looking at two areas within London, Westminster and Brixton. The first question we're proposing to the general public is, would you feel more comfortable in Westminster or Brixton? So follow us as we embark on this journey. Our first destination is Southbank. Westminster or Brixton? Um, it depends on whether I have my children with me. Most likely Westminster. Yeah. Brixton would do the trick. I actually feel comfortable in both. Because of the reputation that I've heard, probably Westminster. Westminster, most definitely. Westminster. Westminster. I've heard it's quite posh. Yeah. It's a much um, calm environment. Um, it's a business district, so um, we know what's happening there. Um, whereas Brixton, you hear a lot of stories about other bad things, things happening. I don't really know Brixton, but Westminster, I just love the buildings. I live halfway between Westminster and Brixton, so we're taking to Brixton as well to go to the cinema, the Ritzy, and to go to the um, Brixton um, village market. Um, but it's a little bit more haphazard and not as many safe places for the girls to run around. Yeah, I think Westminster is more like for tourists, so you can't really see what's really how London is really like. So Brixton is more like what London is normally. I'm from the Caribbean and in Brixton I was able to get all the products from the Caribbean and so forth. In Westminster it's nice, it's touristy, but Brixton I will feel more at home. According to the Metropolitan Police Statistics, Westminster has the highest crime rate in London. However, does this statistics only consist of recorded and reported crime? Firstly, I'm going to speak to Robert Cooper, a veteran of war who has lived in Westminster for 60 years. Is it a safe area? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it's safe, but uh, it's, it's an area that has, has gradually got better since I first come to Westminster in the 50s because you could walk up these streets at one time for card playing and marbles and things like that. And uh, if you had the pram with a baby in, you had to walk off the pavement and uh, go out on the road. Otherwise, you'd get you and the pram would be on the it's, it's pretty good now because I think uh, the, the community police, they, they do a good job. Uh, you don't see much of them, but they are about. Like, well, you don't want to see too much of them, do you, really? As long as you know they're doing the job. You can walk down the road and nothing will happen, but sometimes, maybe at night time, it's not too safe. It just depends if you live in the area or not. If someone coming from outside, you're not too safe. But if you know people, then it's okay. So. The neighbours are really helpful, and if the little child falls down, they would help them out. What do you love about Brixton? Uh, and it's always and it's always got a good weather. <laughs> I'm currently speaking to Florence and we're in the Lambeth Town Hall. I um, just want to answer a couple of questions. Can you tell us a bit about your role and what you do in the Brixton community? Okay, I'm Councillor Florence Nzegbe, so I'm a councillor representing Brixton Hill Ward in the London Borough of Lambeth. And I'm currently the Deputy Cabinet Member with responsibility for tackling violent youth crime. Mm -hmm. In Brixton and right across the borough, we have a number of initiatives. Yeah. Um, I think the first thing in terms of making sure residents feel safe 
is around um, having a police presence, making sure we've got um, an extensive network of CCTV. I was raised in the States and when I came back to the UK, this is where, this is just the place I happened to um, first land and I love it. There's parts of Brixton that um, reflect parts of me. So I've been in Brixton maybe 12, 13 years. Even before I came here, the person that told me about the UK said, Whatever you do, don't go to Brixton. I've lived in Brixton all my life, and Brixton gets a bad press. And um, people seem to think that, you know, the capital of sort of, you know, whether it's youth crime or, you know, sort of antisocial behaviour is Brixton, but it's not. There's so much more positive things going on in Brixton. Myths and legends, prejudices and misconceptions, I mean, there's a lot of truth embedded in it, but personally, I think it has to do with the... People like to perpetuate the negative more than the positive. So, for example, how many people know that in Brixton we have a working windmill, the only windmill in, in London? We've got the first black um, museum being built in Brixton. We have the wonderful square outside the, li um, the town hall and the library, Windrush Square, which is in commemoration to the Windrush generation that came over from the Caribbean. My name is Sam King. I was born in Portland, Jamaica, on the 20th of February, 1926. When I was 18, I volunteered for the Royal Air Force and served from RAF Hawkins near Folkestone to RAF Kenloss in Elgin, Scotland. I wanted to stay in England, but they said I have to go back to the colony of Jamaica. I went back in 1947. In 1948, 492 of us came back and the Empire Windrush. The first medal is the MBE given by the Queen of England for working in the community. The second one, Royal Air Force, for six months active service. The last one, the War Medal, for six months active service during the war. What do you like about Brexit? Uh, I love the originality. Uh, I used to love it more once when I moved here than now. Uh, it's changed uh, quite a lot for me. Uh, when I first moved in London, it was so easy to go out uh, and find new friends and feel comfortable and knowing new people. Uh, I never felt in danger, even if I was walking home alone in the night. Um, and I love the atmosphere. So Brixton, just after the war, was a middle-income, middle-class area. And my people came, and uh, gradually things went down. But today, Lambeth, Brixton, a, a three-bedroom house at Brixton is half a million pounds. My people can't live at Brixton Hill now. How has the Brixton community changed or culture changed over the years? Do you know? Brixton have improved immensely. Um, we were blessed that we have full employment and my people bought property, their children went to school. Of course, nothing was perfect because in 1981, the police was aggressive and they burned down Brixton. If I was to say this part of Brixton here, I would say a calm environment. I wouldn't tell anyone not to come here and do their local shopping. But Brixton as a whole, I could think to be an iffy area. Like, not for older people, I think more for younger people than anyone else. Do you um, consider Brixton to be a safe area? So I was going to say, why shouldn't it be safe? You can maybe take the bus and, I don't know, go to Victoria and it's unsafe too. You can go in, I don't know, north, south, east, of London, everywhere is unsafe. And what do you think other people's perceptions are of Brixton that don't come from Brixton? Well, uh, some people do come into Brixton, sort of enjoy the market and, you know, the clubs and all of that kind of scene. But yeah. um, I think more broadly, there is still quite a negative image of Brixton sometimes. And people have, you know, quite negative attitudes towards it. But I think that's normally because they don't they haven't lived here, they've not maybe even been here and don't really know much about it. But sometimes myths can perpetuate themselves for years and years. Like some sort of stereotype, Brixton would be a scary place to go or whatever. But now, as you can see, it's a centre, it's like a, it's a sea, to be honest. I know there's more crime in Westminster than there is in Brixton. I would say that because 
Westminster has Oxford Street and all of that, so there must be loads of pickpocketing going on, loads of in-store theft more than Brixton. I mean, on the, if you're talking about just what can happen on a high street, uh, you don't even get um, handbags snatched anymore. That used to be something from, from uh, maybe 15 years ago. So the crime that goes on here might just be to deal with either, hmm, dare I say, gangs and drugs. For speaking to the general public, we found that there are mixed views about both Westminster and Brixton. Even though there are no visible lines which indicate people can't go into a certain area, people still fear the unknown. Whether people's choices to go into an area or not is based on perception or reality, I leave that for you to decide. I dare you, cross this line. All the love that's in my heart. Remove all the bars that keeps us apart I wish you could know what it means to be me And you would see and agree that every man should be free